What you're looking at there is a Taxodium distichium in the back 40 of our property here on the north end of Salt Spring Island. So that is a bald cypress slash slash swamp cypress. And it is growing in a natural waterway here in a deep ravine. This waterway drains out across the street into the ocean. So now that we've started to get some rain, this depression here has filled up. It used to be a pond and a fairly deep pond, but the sediment has filled it up and there's water irises in there. So much bamboo growing on the other side of it. But there's this 25 foot tall swamp cypress that I planted here over 20 years ago. And uh, it's doing quite, quite well. So this is a tree, a deciduous tree that grows in standing water and very hardy too. Much more cold hardy than this growing zone. So if you live in a colder climate and you want a really exotic looking tree, try the uh, bald cypress or taxodium. And uh, really cool in a wet area or even in standing water. So there it is folks. And we are late October right now. And it doesn't matter how cold it gets here. It does not bother that tree. Uh, I don't think it started to produce knees yet. They do produce knees as they get older. I've seen really large ones in Vancouver at Van Dusen Botanical Gardens. There's actually a grove of them there that were planted, I guess, 40 years ago. And they all have knees and big trunks on them. So just thought that may interest you folks if you want something unusual for that wet spot in your garden. And you have room for it to grow because they do grow very large. All right. Thanks for watching.